Hey, this is Steve at Chief Skills, and today doing a kind of a update on my screen porch panels uh, project that I've worked on for quite a while. And hopefully we're going to get those up on the Chief Experts Academy's website soon for sale. And um, I just wanted to show some of the stuff that can be done real quick here before I go through it a little more in detail. But um, this is like different panels with solid bottoms. Here's a door. Um, full screen with a mid rail, craftsman style door over here with a craftsman panel. You see it in vector view. It looks really good. Um, different panels here, cross buck door. So uh, here's some with some different brackets, uh, arches, different brackets again, more gingerbread really. Here's some more traditional. Chippendale and Jeffersonian style panels and um, full screen, cross buck screen over here uh, with different panels and arches. I got all sorts of stuff. Here's like a double panel, almost looks like casement windows in standard view. Looks like that. It has a little guardrail down here at the bottom. So uh, we have all sorts of panels, doors, styles, and uh, they work magically. So let's get into it. I'll show you how it works. OK, let's take a look and see how this uh, screen porch library works. The first thing is just a building here and um, nothing fancy. It's got a little gable roof on it. Here's the catalog and uh, screen porch library by Chief Skills. And the first thing is the wall types. And so you just grab a wall type here, just screen. And we'll start with that and go 16 by 18, maybe, and then 16. It doesn't matter. And then uh, I'm going to change this to a gable end. I got auto rebuild roofs on. And then I have screen with a mid rail. So we're just going to take that, maybe go 12 this way, 18, 12, and leave that as a hip. Let's just take a look. So when you draw in your screen porch, you, you get your screen porch. And since I've been messing here, it, it picked them up as porch rooms. But generally speaking, you're going to get this. I'm going to just change it back to what you would get so that you're not confused here. You would get a room that looks like this. You're just your default room. And what you have to do is go in and double click in the room open it, change it to a porch room. And I'm using the Chief Experts Academy's template here, which I've modified a little bit for myself. But uh, as you can see, Dan has put in all these room types. But I believe porch room is pretty standard in Chief. And then changes on the floor structure, change it to minus four. Now all my porch railing panels are set up for nine foot ceiling. So I have right here 109 and an eighth. And that's that's the standard. If you have a different room height that can be worked out, it's not a big deal. And you'll get your porch room. OK, so there's your porch room. Now, once you have your porch, you're set to go. You can change these however you want. Um, all these are are if you open this wall right here, it's a railing wall. So you got newels that are four inches and they're spaced 40, 48 inches. And down here on the panels tab, you can see screen porch panel, just screen. And that's right from the library. So, you know, if you change the spacing, spacing here to 72, it, it shifts the newels. So we'll just leave it. But anyway, it's just a railing wall. So, oh, and one more thing I wanted to point out. What it is, is the style is post to beam. Okay. I have included the bottom rail. And it's um, panels right here. So uh, I think that's all you really need to know. And then you can specify the like here, the beam is four inches by 12 inches. And the bottom rail is four inches wide by two inches tall. There's no magic to those numbers. You can change them to whatever works for you. I mean, the newels are four inches, so the rail is four inches. Basically, that's 
That's why the beam is four inches. You might have a thicker beam, you might have thicker newels. All that is based on whatever you come up with. But this is how it's going to come out of the box. Once you have this, you can go into the next part of this, which is screen porch panels and pick the panel you want. And I've designed fat panels and skinny panels. So let's just, I like the fat panels better. And it just depends on the size of your porch. I mean, if you have a small porch, you may want to use the skinny panels. If you want to, if you have a big porch, you may want to use these fat panels. So here's a fat full screen. And you can see what it does, how it looks as compared to your standard over here. So here I'll put a skinny full screen on this one over here. And you'll be able to see the difference. And see how they look different. Vector view might be easier. See how skinny this looks on the left as compared to how thick this looks on the right. So that's the uh, basics of skinny versus fat. And um, I have all sorts of different things here, like if you want an arch or if you want a bracket. So we have different types of panels and then we have guardrail panels, two by twos with screen on the top and you can change your newel spacing. Just double click, go to the newels balusters tab and say 64 inches or whatever and get a little more gap between your newels, which makes it look a little better. And um, <clears throat> we have historic bottom panels. Uh, this Jefferson panel looks pretty good. Um, I have a I have them in here as by two, as you can see right here. And what that's designed to do is let's just put one in here. And as you can see, that looks bad. But if you open and space these newels, say to 144 or 12 foot, then what you get is one newel right here in the middle. And then this is this this is a two panel panel with a two by four in between. It gives you that fat, skinny, fat um, look that some porches want. So that's that's something there. And then I have this with just a single. And again, now you're going to have to change your spacing to maybe 60 and make those look better. So um, give you an idea of how these panels work. I mean, you could just replace from library. That's that's the magic of it. Here's some mid rail panels. Um, uh, full screen with mid rails divided top see how those look um, divided top and bottom arch B um, let's take a look here here's a arch with some brackets maybe you can see it better in vector view so this is really magical I think <laughs> how easy it is and so once you have these in here the next step is, of course, screen doors. And I have different screen doors. These screen doors come with the top panel and I have them for eight foot rooms and nine foot rooms. So let's just say we want a screen top. All right, we can just drop it in here like this. And there's your screen door done. Vector view. Looks great. You got a little handle on it. T top, T bottom. It's kind of a standard screen door. You can move it around. It's fantastic. Um, here's one with a T top. That occurs occasionally. And then we've got cross buck doors here with a siding. How about with siding on the top? So. Yeah, it, it, I've only used this vertical siding, but you can just paint it with the siding you have on your house. That's how easy that is. And uh, standard view. There you go. And um, here's this style F is kind of nice. It's just full screen with a little T-top. And um, they, I even have them with arches. So all sorts of screen doors panels and they're very easy. I mean, you can draw a screen porch in five minutes or less. 
And um, so I wanted to get that out there. We're trying to get it up on Chief uh, Experts Academies, get this entire package up there. And uh, so you can look at it and decide. Included is also up here. Look again at the library. I have, um, I've included some materials, including the screen material that I'm using. So um, it's going to be a great package and should be available on the Chief Experts Academy's website here very shortly. Thanks. Thanks for watching.